In these problems, we are trying to identify transformations that map a regular polygon onto itself. Uh, and that means after you do the reflection or the rotation, the figure should look exactly the same. That's what being mapped onto itself means. So in this one, we've got a hexagon and it's got these two lines uh, cut through. If you reflected on either side of these lines, I think you can see they're symmetrical on either side. So if you folded over on these lines, you'd have the same uh, shape on either side. So it looks like both of those are good lines of symmetry uh, and would map the shape onto itself if, you're, if you reflect it over them. And that's this choice and this choice. So those are good. How about the rotation? How do we figure this out? Well, this is a hexagon and it's a regular polygon. So, you know, all the sides are the same length, all the angles are the same. So this is going to have that kind of symmetry every sixth of the way around a circle. So what you would do is just take the degrees in a circle, and that's 360 degrees, and divide by 6. So that means multiples of 60 degrees are going to provide that rotational symmetry. So when we're given this choice of a counterclockwise rotation about k of 144 degrees, we have to ask, is that a multiple of 60? It's not. So that's not going to work. And then this one, clockwise rotation about k by 180. Is that a multiple of 60? Well, yeah, it is. 3 times 60 is 180. Um, uh, rotating this 180 degrees is just turning it upside down. You can probably see by looking at it that it's the same upside down as it is right side up. So we can check that one as well. Let's look at this figure on the right. We've got a five-sided regular polygon here. So this is a pentagon. And we've got a couple of lines through it. Let's look at these lines and think about it. Um, it looks to me like this cuts it exactly in half. And if you fold it over on either side, you'd have um, uh, the same shape. You know, sometimes it's a little confusing when you're looking at things on the side like this, but if you turned the page or turned your screen so that the bottom was right here and looked at it, I think it would be more obvious. And you could do the same with, with this one, either put the bottom here or here and look at it, and you can see the, the symmetry pretty easily. So it looks like reflections over either of these lines uh, will work. So that's here, reflection across B, reflection across A. So what are our other choices? Counterclockwise rotation of 300 degrees. So how do we figure that out? Well, again, we've got five equal sides. So we'll take all of the degrees in a circle, 360, and divide it by five. And we've got 72. So multiples of 72. If you rotate by multiples of 72 degrees, you'll get rotational symmetry. Is 300 a multiple of 72? Well, no, it's not. So that's not going to work. Is 180 a multiple of 72? No, it's not. So that's not going to work. And if you just by looking at this, if you rotated this 180 degrees, that is, you turned it upside down, this point would be down at the bottom. And that's not the same. So that one is not going to work. So that is a little bit of practice with uh, transformations that map regular polygons onto themselves.